wife has decided she's a witch. seven o'clock Monday morning. What's your game plan? Put some trees in the ground. Strong Roots Resources with the XJ four door. What year is this? 97. I had one of those. We lifted it up and did a bunch of stuff with it. It uh, doesn't let me down too often. We know the problems with them, right? Exactly. Everything's fixable. Anything you don't know, everybody on the forums have the answer to. And they blasted these things all through the SCORE and MDR races in Baja and California. Originally I put everything at 10 feet and I'm like, 10 feet's perfect. And 10 feet's not perfect because I want to mow around them. A little less than you. Yeah, yeah. So this is dead. This is dead. These figs will pop back up. Wherever you think we can put something in here. I had put these in originally, staggered them. That thing back there is dead. There was one here. We can put something right here. This is standing dead. We can pop something here, although it'll probably shade. Well, I don't know how well it's gonna, how it's gonna kill them out. We can run stuff out front. I originally had three peaches out here and they did great for like two years and then they just died. These over on this side have never done well. I don't think they catch enough sun. These are all dead. We can just consider those dead. We can, we can put something here. We can put something over there, two even. Okay. This can cut down. I'm not telling you to cut it down. I'm saying we can cut it down if it needs more sun. I drilled holes. There's two more holes. There's a hole over here kind of. There's one over here. We can drill new holes. And then I ran them up, up the way too. So I mean, we can even run a second line in here if we need to. I'm sure we have way more trees than we need right now. Everything I put in the ground is, well, I would say, I was gonna say everything I put in the ground is still alive. Some of it I don't think is alive. And me putting them in the ground is literally pulling them out of a pot and putting them in the ground. I've never pulled the dirt off the roots. I've never pruned any of the roots. You could use a couple of five gallon buckets to dump them in to loosen all that uh, gotcha. mulch at yeah. the end. Yeah. And I'll spread the roots out and clean them out. All right, so we augered these and in augering it, it produces heat and kind of bakes it at the same time. So it, uh, it makes a, a very nice clay pot in there. So we gotta chop the sides and kind of take the glazing off of it. So we're trying to do as much as we can with equipment and not human being. This is my favorite tree. Are we putting this back in? That's a negative. <laughs> can you save it? You know, I'm good, but I'm not that good. I'm getting the vibes that there's a maybe in there. Manual tractor. Did you buy that one because it's cool and black? I bought it because it's one piece and it won't bend. It won't bend. I, I challenge you on that. It looks bent right now. What brand is it? I call that ergonomic. This is the uh, Fiskers brand. Fiskers. So one piece, um, all steel, pretty heavy, but I got tired of snapping off fiberglass. Yep. We're going to go right there with those people. Witching wire. <laughs> coat hangers? You got any metal ones? I don't. I got coat hanger. I actually do have that one coat hanger still. My knees been feeling too good or I'd be able to walk over and tell. <laughs> what? Yeah, I can feel the electricity in my back <laughs> left knee. Brandon, take your shoes off. Yeah. 
These shoes are thin enough. Stop. All right, we're gonna drill them. We're gonna drill one up there. Okay. And we're gonna put there. Okay. So just be cognizant backing up of where this post is. Anything else that gets fucked up, we'll just cover it up with wood chips. Yeah, I'd probably come on the other side of that tree. Okay, so what are you doing here? So we are pulling the roots out and untangling them from them being root bound in the pot. This little tree was probably in the same pot for three or four years. And the tree doesn't necessarily know it's not in the pot anymore unless we do this. So it's gonna grow around in circles and when we put it in the hole, they're gonna to continue It'll to grow in circles. Keep. A lot of the times they will, not so, always. So we're gonna open them up in hopes that it chases, chases down and out. Yep, that it's gonna feel free and happy and run its roots. And then how long do you, do you typically, how long did you soak this for? These weren't too bad, these little uh, plums. This was just for a few minutes. The apples, 20 or 30 minutes of work per tree. Is it true if you, if you bite into the root right now, you'll taste and we'll know what the plum's gonna taste like? I've never heard that. Before. Go ahead and try it. I, I guarantee it works. <laughs> How about another volunteer? They don't just spin around the pot. Uh -huh. but they'll come back yeah, up yeah. again. I mean, they'll go. Is there ever a time where you? it's okay to cut the roots? Sure, sure. That's the spike that was holding it up. Yeah, way back in the day. Yeah, you can prune them if they're exceptionally long. Um, I don't think I need to on this guy because we're able to make holes that are appropriately big. I kind of think like a tree for a minute. Like, what would I want? Yeah, we got two really nice feeder roots there. Cap you root trim them, what do you want to keep versus what do you want to trim? I trim anything that is especially tangled. If I can't get it free, I'll go ahead and trim it off. You want to save as many as those small ones or you want to save as many as the big, thick ones? I try to keep more of these the medium ones. side guys. Yeah, size guys because the these little teeny, these are basically like capillaries, these little thin ones. Um, this tree will quickly make more of these. Like those, that all matted stuff that was at the bottom of the pot, this can just go away. This is not gonna hurt anything at all, pull all this off. Does that tree have a tap root? Do all trees or not all trees? Not all trees develop one, at least not this young. And this one really doesn't have one. But I'm happy with how much it does have in terms of being able to feed and uh, dig in, create stability. And you think this tree is about three years old? I'd say so. Man, how do these guys make money keeping these alive for three years? That's a good question. Um, they throw a lot away. Do they? They, they did quite a few. Yeah. Because I mean, something that, that somebody's kept this alive for three years, and the price on them, I mean, you see them at the box stores for thirty-five dollars. Yeah. It it, I, it must just be a matter of scale. That's yeah. The only way I figure they really uh, they really make money, which means for the small guy who just wants to get into propagating stuff and learning how to graft and learning how to start cuttings and all that, uh, you can do pretty good. You can do pretty good with just a very simple setup. My business plan is all figs, everyday figs. <laughs> Maybe they're super popular. They, they grow so well here. Yeah. It's a high calorie crop. And Every time I thought we've killed one and I'm about to mow it over, there's always life on it. Yeah, I set it, one on fire and it was still alive. Oh, we torched some, so our best, our best crops we had all these wood chips out here and I was torching weeds. And the next morning it was all smoldering and it wilted all the leaves, all the trees dropped. Yeah, yeah. Those were the best peach crops we had every year. No kidding. Yep, fire. Yeah, figs respond well to pruning. What's that there that you're doing? I am. Like with the level or the Yeah, level? I want to get this graft at least at ground level, if not just a little bit higher. He's looking to see where the slow. true ground level is. Yeah. Because right here, He's going to want to, he doesn't want this under the earth because it'll rot. Oh man, you do it way higher than I can. Hello, 
little plum thundercloud. I always leave them on so I know what they are. And then two years later when they fall off, I still don't know what they are. My wife has decided she's a witch. So okay. everything, everything's herbal, not really, but herbalism now. Yeah, we got all kinds of tinctures and shit in there. You complain about something hurt and she just like shoves something at you and say, Yeah, and you know, it actually, uh, it seems to work. Yeah. I think we all know at this point a lot of it's poison. I mean, they keep getting more and more of those dudes, like the CEOs, getting arrested and shit. Yeah. And you got people in Congress literally calling people out on it. Man, you do this really well for your first time out. I know. I'm just, I just YouTubed it. Just winging it. Hours out here, yeah. Just like, Took the online class. I did. <laughs> we got plenty of it. I can get it more of it in 30 minutes if we need it. Cool. Man, that hole was dusty. At least it's not fire ants. Yeah. Problem with hitting the power line on this side, it's ours. <laughs> the power company doesn't just come up and fix this shit. They actually they actually do. The power company and the gap, they've been really good. My guys came through with an excavator with the claw up in the air one night and knocked all the power out. And they had us back like in the middle of a storm. Our utility guys have always, they've always been real good with us. Yeah, I mean, yeah, our guys, they've got a lot of practice. They do though, like when, when storms come through, they do get us on pretty fast. We're lucky because Palmer's is up the road and then the water treatment plant's right over here. So we're, we're pretty close. Do you ever wire these or stake them or anything? Uh, if it's gonna be somewhere where they're gonna get a lot of wind, I feel like you're pretty well sheltered. Protected here. right here, yeah. Right up the road about half a mile there's a dude with a giant cage and I always wondered what was in there he's got three big tree I don't know what kind of trees they are I always thought he had like some kind of birds or something in there but he's got there's just three big old trees in there and he he must be protecting them from you know wildlife or something they're tall apple wolf feel it actually first party we had out here we had about 20 dudes show up which means six of them actually worked <laughs> so we had six guys out here for three days pre-party digging holes for trees out here and we we're digging them I didn't know any better we we're digging them four by four by four and we figured out oh, we'll put some good dirt in there and dude it would take it take hours for like six dudes really working to dig this ground Oh, yeah. It's all, it's all, I mean, you know, it's the same at your place. Yeah. It's all this. Yeah, it's rock. And yeah, every bit of it. Uh, we were breaking the tips off of shovels and, I mean, it's all rock bar. You use a rock bar more than you use a shovel. Yeah. Fig tree, fig tree. It's like uh, fig tree, apple trees. You can see all the way down. We got trees going in. We got trees going in all through here. We got trees going in the back swells. I think we got about 60 that are going in. Smoochie boochies, motherfucker. Man, them tires look so big. <laughs> 